Um, my grandmother on on the funeral pyre, like literally, like I rubbed ghee over her naked body with wow. with her sons, my father, and then I I this was like the closest I've been to the cremation. Like literally, my grandmother was three feet away, and light so, so the body lights it's sitting on all the all the wood, and the body starts to to burn because of the ghee. Like you've rubbed ghee all over her body, so it's flammable, and then. What's going on? And then it always starts to move the bones, and then, and then my dad, who's the oldest brother, got like this deep sort of privileged moment of like taking a stick with a coconut at, at the end of it and doing exactly what you just said. And I didn't even know what was happening, so I had to ask after. But like taking the stick, and, and the and the bones have become like softer by this point because the body's been burning for like half an hour. And you go and you crack the skull. And the skull just basically just disintegrates and breaks open, and that's when the spirit and the soul just lifts out of. That's the moment of transcendence, right? And I was just like, was like, I saw exactly what you said, and then later that next morning, I went and picked the bones out of the ashes, and they were still warm from the day before. So I like picked out the bones from the ashes and put them in the urn, and then like got on the train with my uncle. And took a train in India to Haridwar where we did puja and ceremony on the Ganges River with like my my grandmother's bones. Wow. You know? Do you have a deep relationship with your grandmother before? 